Okay, I'm about to leave for Maryland, but first I have to go to Disney Springs. I'm picking up some Gideon's cookies to bring to the family. Okay, Maddie, you've never been here. Are you excited? I'm so excited. You're, I think you're gonna take a bite and go, eh. I might, but I'm still excited to try this chocolate chip cookie. They've added new, like, themed plexiglass. Oh, this is new. They have, like, a mood lighting on the paintings now, flickering in red. Okay, we have secured the uh, asset. They limit you to six cookies. I also had Maddie get a couple cookies for me, so I'm bringing like pounds of cookies literally home to Maryland tonight. You have not been to Springs in a while. There it is. Oh my God. Okay, 50-50 chance. This is a really chance. big moment. What do we got? That's pretty damn good. That was really good. Is that one of the best cookies you've ever had? Yeah, I put it up there. I really liked the um, Incredit cookie or whatever. Oh, the Nom Nom cookie. That, that cookie. Was good. Now, the peanut butter swirls are limited edition cookie for the month. I've already covered it. I've had this cookie so many times now. So it's one of my favorites. Mmm. Thank you. Big peanut right there. So good. All right, we're taking a quick bite to eat at uh, the boathouse. We have a nice little view of Disney Springs. We're on like the docks. So we're like moving back and forth. Putting around the little amphicar. Ah, this is what $200 looks like. We're trying something new here. We're gonna be getting uh, the grilled fresh mahi sandwich. It's gonna have lettuce, tomato, with a chipotle tartar sauce on top. And then I, I upgraded to the truffle fries with the classic lemon aioli. And of course, I asked for a side of that uh, Old Bay seasoning. Let's start off with the fries. <laughs> Fries are great as always. The mahi is really good. You can definitely tell it's nice and fresh. I wish the mahi filet was a little thicker to get more of a like a bite into it. And the tartar sauce adds a nice little bit of flavor to it. But I think I'm gonna add Old Bay on top. Oh God, I just checked my watch. Um, my flight's in a couple hours. Uh, Boathouse, great as always, 10 out of 10. Service, bread is 10 out of 10. Truffle fries are 10 out of 10. The mahi, I think I'm gonna give it eight out of 10. Even though I added the Old Bay on it, I just feel like there's too much bun compared to the fish. But still a very good mahi sandwich. Hey, right, goodbye, horrendously crowded Disney Springs. Bye, Gerald, I'll see you in two weeks. Bye-bye, wear your mask. <laughs> And for good luck, you always gotta come here and say hello to Pablo Escobar. Almost every gift shop is like closed. Has it not reopened yet? Yeah, all these restaurants are like abandoned. Start boarding in uh, 20 minutes. Thank God I have a TSA pre-check. So we will be going this way. Okay, if you if you don't have TSA pre-check, you have to get it. It literally took 10 seconds to walk through. They have Lego vending machines now. Right. I just gotta say, uh, MCO, please turn up the AC. It's like 90 degrees in here. We are all dripping sweat. There are so many people here. I, I don't think the pandemic ever existed. This is, this is insane. It, feel, <laughs> it, it feels like I'm at Disney right now. It's like Disney World crowds, but at the airport. Uh, what is going on with the uh, tail of the Frontier flight? Is that a goat or a sheep? But uh, there's our flight, JetBlue. One of the reasons we came here to DC during this time is the Cherry Blossom Festival. I'm excited to show it to you guys. We just landed. Very interesting um, it's like a ghost town here right now. But in Orlando, um, I knew it was gonna be busy in the morning because people were traveling, but I went for a nighttime flight and it was it was just crazy. It was wall to wall people. I, I've been vaccinated, so I'm not that worried. I think if you're traveling, things are just like back to normal, but everybody's wearing a mask. So if you're really worried about traveling, those are my thoughts about it, but it was crazy thinking like how far we've come in a year from like nobody flying at all. Like it's a packed plane. Like every single seat was full in there. JetBlue has, a, has very interesting options for um, films on their flights. Now let's take a look at these titles that they have. The Painter and the Thief, The Secret Garden. Those sound like romance novels made into movies. The War with Grandpa, Unpregnant, Wander, and Words on Bathroom Walls. I have many questions. I end up watching The American Pickle. It's like that Seth Rogen movie. Kind of like how I feel about actual pickles. I didn't really care for it. 5.5 out of 10, it was all right. I'd pass on it. But there are better in-flight options. They have the first season of The Office. I'm so excited. I have not seen my family. I'm taking off. There's nobody around. I have not seen my family in like a year and a half. And I'm about to see them. I'm, I'm, it's crazy. It almost feels like I'm in a dream right now. I'm glad to be back in Maryland. It's gonna be interesting. The airport is already set up very differently than how Orlando's is. Uh, you can see they have like the social distance markers, like every other seat. I think it's gonna be kind of a, like a culture shock going from like Orlando, Florida to Maryland. Let's go head off and see my family. I'm so excited. I see them down there. <laughs> <laughs> There's Ben's chili bowl. Who are those two beautiful young ladies over there? Oh my gosh. Look at you. I missed you both. <laughs> First, you tell me it's gonna snow this week. Yes, okay, I'm not ready for that. It's going to snow, maybe Thursday morning, okay? Also, tonight was the worm moon. It's some, the, it's, the worm moon? It's like the super moon. What's a super moon? This that's is like so a huge 
moon. But the thing about the worm moon is because it's near spring, because it rains a lot, and all the worms come up out of the ground, wriggling around. So this is called the worm moon because of the time of the year in the spring. Oh. And it's huge. I, I don't know. I'm following you two. I don't know where you are. <laughs> I feel like I'm in an elementary school or a prison. Okay. I forgot how not vibrant the uh, Reagan National is. It's just so boring. There's no pictures of Legoland or there's, Disney there's anywhere. Stuff up here. There's stuff up here. There's, oh, there's stuff up here? Yeah. Here we have, um... Here we have... Something. History. History. Here we have a, a plane. I know you, you guys are on the edge of your seat right now looking at all this cool stuff. But yeah, this is kind of cool. I kind of like this airport ticket office sign. Forgot about these giant walkways. It does kind of remind me of Universal Studios when you're walking out of the parking garage. Now they have sanitizer stations that I like. This design that they have. They, they have it on there. What is this? This is a, a ballast. <laughs> Why is this in the back of your car? Don't, well, if you break your neck. I'm not going to break my neck. Okay, let's see if you can balance. <laughs> Are you, wait, do you bounce or do you jump? Yeah? Do we, do we jump? Well, I have some. Oh, is, is that all you do is just balance? Oh, okay, I just got home. It's time to have everyone try the cookies. Yes, it did take up a quarter of my suitcase. Are you, are you ready for this? You're looking beautiful. There's your cookie. Oh my gosh. That's huge. Yeah? Oh my gosh. Oh, look at this thing. Oh. <laughs> oh my word! It's gross all over it. Oh my gosh! Oh! Mmm! Mmm! Mm, this is really good. Mmm! 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 My! What do you think of the cookie? Oh boy! <laughs> it's a master. Mm. Okay, it's time to now go see the worm moon. Let's see what this looks like. I feel like it's just gonna look like a normal moon. Ah, uh, well, there it is. All right, here's what all the talk was about. That's, uh, that's definitely a moon up there. I don't see too much of a difference. I don't know, let's... Oh my god, look at that! My mom was right, it's a worm moon. Now guys, it is good to be back home. It's not humid here in Maryland. I think that's one of my favorite things. But we have so much planned. Uh, the next two weeks I'm gonna be here. First off, again, I have all my doctor's appointments and my colonoscopy, but we have a bunch of like fun adventures we're gonna be going on. Uh, we're gonna be going to Hershey Park and we're gonna be staying at the Cartoon Network Hotel and I have a bunch of like food reviews we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be going to the Cherry Blossom Festival in DC and do a fun little DC adventure. I don't know how much is open or... Things are very different up here than in Florida. But when you guys ask the question, do you think you'll live in Florida forever? I think for a large majority of my life, I think I will be living in Florida. Uh, Allison and I, our careers are in Florida. And I feel like I'm a very unique, kind of eccentric person. And I fit the Florida mold of just being odd. I don't really fit into any other like state in the United States where it's like normal to, I don't know, do the things that I do. <laughs> Like when I'm here in Maryland, like the hospitality is just not here. So when I like, I'm walking by anyone, I'm like, hey, how are you doing? Like, good day. And everybody just looks at me like I'm a freak because I'm like smiling and being happy. I really enjoy the environment that's in Orlando of like just the hospitality happiness. So I think for a large majority of my life, I believe I will be living in Florida. Now, if you guys have any ideas on like what's open in Maryland right now, let me know down in the comments of some adventures you want me to go do. I still have probably like five days of like freedom that I don't have planned yet. Now I want to thank Nicole for funding this video. Thank you so much for donating on Patreon. You really made my grandmother happy with the cookie. Mm, ah. On that note, I love you all. Please stay safe and I will see you all on Friday. Bye. There's the worm moon.